Jesus has the keys. Revelation 1, 17 and 18. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. But he laid his right hand on me, saying to me, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am he who lives and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. And I have the keys of Hades and of death. Revelation 2 verse 8. And to the angel of the church in Smyrna write, These things says the first and the last, who was dead and came to life. Today is Resurrection Sunday, uh, a day where all over the world as believers we celebrate the fact that Jesus Christ rose up from the dead, triumphant, conquering hell and the grave. And uh, this week we are going to consider some of his introductions, his self-introductions, uh, especially uh, through the book of Revelation on how he introduced himself. So imagine Jesus came and met you and he said, hello, this is Jesus. And what would he say next? And here are some introductions that Jesus gave of himself to various people. Now, the first one we are considering is the introduction Jesus gave of himself to John, his beloved disciple, uh, after his resurrection. And when John was, uh, when he was getting ready to give John the revelation uh, of the book of Revelation, here's what Jesus said. Jesus told John, I was the one who was dead, I'm alive, and I'm alive forevermore. And he says, I have the keys of hell and death. And it was the same introduction he gave to the church in Smyrna when he said, you know, I'm the first and the last, and I was dead, but I'm alive. So Jesus is saying, don't be afraid. I'm the first, the last, I was dead, I'm alive, and I have the keys. In other words, look, I am the beginning and the ending of everything. Everything is held and sustained because of me. I am master even over death. He says, I have the keys. I have the authority even over hell and the grave. So he says, don't be afraid. Now, how would you respond if Jesus came to you and said, hello, this is Jesus. I am the first and the last. I was dead, I'm alive. And I've got the keys of hell and the grave, meaning I have authority, keys represent authority. I have absolute authority over all of hell and over all of death. So don't be afraid. You and I will take tremendous uh, encouragement and draw a lot of strength and courage from that introduction of Jesus. The Jesus whom I believe in, the Jesus whom you believe in, he is the one who's got the keys. He has authority. He is master over all of hell and over all of the grave. That means there is no power of hell that can uh, come against me uh, and overthrow me because I am in Jesus Christ. I am in this one who already has conquered hell, who has already defeated every power of hell. And I'm not afraid of the grave because Jesus has conquered the grave. He's got the rest of the story in his hands. He is the first and he is the last. He is the beginning, he is the ending. He's got everything in his hands. So you and I rest in that confidence. When you rest in that and when you and I worship Jesus, worship him and tell him, Lord, I believe you are the first and the last. You are dead, but you're alive again. And Lord, you've got the keys. You are the absolute master of our hell and the grave. And I will not be afraid of anything because I trust in you and I know who you are. You are absolute master over hell and the grave. Let's worship Jesus for who he is. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we worship you. We exalt you. You are the first, the last. You were alive, you were dead, and you're alive forevermore. And you have absolute mastery over all of hell and over all of the grave. And therefore, we will not fear. We worship you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.